energy to get over the hump. But in the waning moments, it was the poise of the College of Charleston that led to the victory. All right, let's go over to Nate Ross. Here with Coach Nancy Wells. It's just another home -hum game. Just another home -hum game, easy game. I can't hear you. I just said it's just another home -hum game. Oh, yeah, just another home -hum game. We've had several of those this year. What an awesome, tremendous win by our players. Uh, they got such a great team. They came running at us so hard. Uh, I thought we did a great job with the game plan in the first half. They came out and answered in the second half, so we had to adjust, and we just made big shots when we had to. So Deidre's big shot there, uh, Brooks, hands, and steal on the baseline. I mean, you can just name things over and over again. Just huge plays, uh, good play by a good team. H huge help from my assistant coaches. Holland Quest was very frustrated. Every time she touched it, there was four hands around her. Great job. Well, we did a good job at Dublin. Coach Elmore had done a great job with the scouting report. She had noticed how some other teams had doubled and had success, and so we put that in the game plan, and uh, it was good for us today. Coach, you're in the finals. Congratulations. We're in the finals of SoCon Conference. I want to say to God be the glory. This has been so exciting. Thank you. Uh, Nancy Wilson's happy. We'll send it back over to the table. Thank you, Nate. The 23rd victory of the season for the College of Charleston propels them to the championship game tomorrow here at McKenzie Arena. They are in the women's final. They await the second semifinal to see who their opponent will be. 53-51 is the final. We've got more coming up from Chattanooga right after this. From McKenzie Arena in Chattanooga, Tennessee, this is the Southern Conference Tournament Championship. As we come inside McKenzie, it is the women's title game. The Cougars from the College of Charleston against the Lady Catamounts from Western Carolina. Great to have you with us for today's game. Tom Wormy along with Robin Muller. And Robin for the College of Charleston, their first ever trip to the title game for Western Carolina, the third straight appearance in the championship game. I like this matchup because you have the quickness of the College of Charleston versus a physically powerful team in Western Carolina. And this game's going to be about stamina. See who has legs left. Robin, let's take a look at the championship bracket. See how these two teams arrived at this point for Western Carolina. Victories over Elon and Sanford. And for the College of Charleston, wins over Davidson and Chattanooga for the first time in 18 tries. Western Carolina used their physical size to dominate Sanford. However, it was the College of Charleston's Deidre Jones who had late game heroics to propel College of Charleston into this final game. With 3.5 seconds left, she is the game winner and you can see the celebration by Robin, these two teams met in the regular season. The last time they met, it went to overtime and the College of Charleston won it. Bigger stakes this time around. Big stakes on the line today. One team's going to get to dance. The other team has to go home. The automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Up for grabs. It's the Cougars and the Lady Catamounts for the chance to dance in March. Coming up, it is the women's championship game of the Southern Conference Tournament. And it's right here on Sports South. The starters and tip-off coming up next. We have arrived at the championship game, the starting lineup. For the College of Charleston, Jade Hughes, a team high 13 points in that win over Chattanooga yesterday, and Deirdre Jones, the game-winning basket with 3.5 seconds. Nancy Wilson has taken her team to the NCAA tournament five times when she was a coach at South Carolina. Her Charleston Cougars have never been to the tournament. College of Charleston has the men's and women's teams in the championship game. Nancy Wilson and Bobby Kremens over a thousand victories between them. Only three other schools can boast that with their head coaches, Robin. It's very impressive the amount of wins that Kremens and Wilson have put together, and they're in great company. College of Charleston, that big win over Chattanooga by two, 53-51, and there's their first bucket of the game from an emotional Nikki Williams. Nikki Williams provided the early spark for the College of Charleston yesterday, hit a first three buckets, had 10 boards, 14 rebounds, I'm sorry, 14 rebounds, 10 points in that game. College of Charleston likes a lot of quick hitters. They like the drive and kick out type offense. You're not going to see them spend a lot of time in the half court set. Hughes all the way to the basket, changes hands and makes it. Jade Hughes getting in among the trees, the little scoop shot high off the glass. Gets that one to use the rim and bounces in. First pull up off the dribble, and she's a power player as well. You'll see her post up some smaller guards. Gertie gets the bounce, her first basket of the game. She's fatigued as well. 
Sarah Moy kept it alive for the Cougars. Gertie, a quick move. Moy from the baseline, and she hits it. College of Charleston still riding the emotion from yesterday. Tony Gertie, the sophomore, with the drive and the basket. We're coming right back to the championship game on Sports South. For Tennessee. Hughes, all the way to the basket. She challenged everybody. Jade Hughes, so quick. You see what she got the step and the gap in between defenders. She could get all the way to the rim and very quick with the shot as well. Doesn't take a lot of time to get it up off the glass. Heather Swain, Powell. Tough shot, didn't get the bounce. Knocked around and taken by Gertie. Who looks to run. Off the basket, good, and she's going to the free throw line. And they call the block. One defender back, trying to hold position. As Kendra Carroll, trying to hold ground. It's a tough spot to be in. You see just a little twist of the body by the defender. As Gertie tried to avoid contact. Tony Gertie completes the three-point play, now has five points. Into the corner, Nikki Williams. Weak side battle. And it was Moy who tried to save it, stepped on the end line, and it was back to Western Carolina. Great hustle by Moy. Moy in there banging around with the, the post players. Does a nice job of fighting for the ball, and then you see her trying to get there. Keep it alive, and that's the emotion that this College of Charleston team is playing with. I mean, they are on fire. One point lead for the College of Charleston. Victories over Chattanooga and Davidson. They had lost 17 straight games to Chattanooga before winning yesterday. Jade Hughes, three-pointer for Hughes. Hughes, who shoots 38% for three-point range, and that one, she knocks it down, now has seven points, Robin. And she doesn't need a lot of space. Western Carolina's defenders were sinking down in, protecting the paint because of how effective the drive by College of Charleston's been, and that's gonna open up those outside shots. Moy, got it. College of Charleston was in the semifinals last year as well against Chattanooga. Lost that one, but won it yesterday. Tony Gertie with a three. Shooting over 30% for the season from beyond the arc for Powell. One point lead for Western Carolina. Hughes trying to get by Powell. Moy gives the Cougars the lead right back. College of Charleston's men's and women's team, both in the tournament this year. And Southern Conference officials told us that this marks the 14th time that both the men and women of the same team have been in the finals, but never has one of the, te both teams won. Only one team has won in all those 14 appearances. The College of Charleston will take on Chattanooga in the men's final later today here at the Kenzie Arena. Up and good for Nikki Williams, who now has five points. Jones muscled her way to the glass for two. The Cougars on a 6-0 run over the last two minutes and five seconds. And they are up by five. 28-23 inside of six minutes remaining in the first half. 54% from the floor for the College of Charleston. Good shooting by Western as well at 58%. And Jade Hughes goes off the backboard and in. With one second left on the shot clock. Work on some strategy. But look at this move by Jade Hughes. Stepping underneath. It's a left-handed shot to fall. I love her poise. She just is all about business out there. Cougars might have something to say about that with four and a half minutes remaining. Jones, great catch on the pass, and she converts. Second chance points. Looking for some of that to develop so far this afternoon. With a minute and a half to go, it's Hughes on the run for two. 